What's up, everybody, and welcome. We're on vacation, obviously. You can obviously see that Derek and Jeremy are not here, and it's just me, and I'm so sorry because that you know pisses everybody off. But we needed a vacation. Us as podcasters, it, believe it or not, we kind of do need a vacation just like anybody else does, and uh, so we're taking it. And uh, it may be a couple of weeks. I'm sorry I didn't like touch base on it at the end of the episode like I said I was supposed to, but um, I forgot. So, uh, but yeah, we're all on vacation. Uh, I'm really excited for the next couple of weeks because I don't have as much work to do, which is really, really nice. But at the same time, as podcasters, I think it's still our responsibility, responsibility to provide you with some kind of an episode. So I took one from the archives. I took one that um, that is out there. You can go and you can click on it and watch it just like you normally would. But uh, it is something that I really wanted to do was actually give you like kind of the backstory with it. Uh, so I'm going to come in about... Uh, well, later in the episode and tell you the behind the scenes of what actually happened when the cameras finally went off. Uh, and I'm really excited that. But yeah, this is the episode where Jeremy ate the uh, the devil gummy, gummy bear, the little nitro, and I ate three quarters of a, of a Pocky chip. So um, there was actually something I forgot, which was this is where the Lego segment came from. This is where Jeremy and Derek kind of came on to it nonchalantly and put it into the show. So that's really cool. But uh, overall, it's one of our most popular episodes, and I'm really glad for new listeners who are coming in who haven't gone through the archive of uh, uh, all of our stuff. They get to listen and get in on some of the inside jokes that we did. So um appreciate all of you guys for being here and, and supporting the show, really. Uh, it's been four, almost four and a half years that we've been doing this show, and it's evolved kind of its own way, but I'm glad where we're at. So thank you guys to all of you who are subscribing and, and who are commenting and doing all of that, and it means a lot to us. We really do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, um, but we also need a vacation from time to time as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. We sincerely do appreciate it. Love all of you, and and, uh, enjoy another great episode. And as always, keep laughing, assholes. The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking. Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now. <laughs> <laughs> try it. Try it now. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host, Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Well, good evening, Scotty. Hi. That's the most pleasant hi I've had from you in a long time. I'm in a good mood, Scotty. Oh. Well, thank God. Very good mood. Yeah, that's great. But no matter how good my mood gets, you can still go fuck yourself. <laughs> and also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. What that mouth do, Scotty? Talk a lot. All right. Never shuts. Never, yeah, never stops going. Anyways, welcome everybody to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is an uh, adult podcast where we like to discuss the current events that are going on in sports and make very inappropriate jokes about those current events where we like to use a lot of foul language. So if that's not your cup of tea, you're in the wrong fucking place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and good night. Scotty, can we turn it down in the language a little? Mm -hmm. There's kids listening. Yeah, I'd like to take this a softer level. I'd like to really nerf this show a little bit. <laughs> Let's see the softer uh, side of Sears here. Come on. A uh, hundred episodes of talking about, you know, anal sex. <laughs> this Other is... naughty things. I think we, we've we grown past it. Let's just Bar really focus on our words. Barney it up Un a little bit? Yeah. Enough oh, with the oh. fisting. Enough with the felching. Just normal sports talk. Oh, okay. Okay. And then episode 102 is our all felching show. <laughs> yes. That's our felching spectacular. Yeah. Oh, God. BYO, bring your own straw. Oh, mm -hmm. This is going to suck. Anyways, uh, like we always like to start off with every single episode, we like to go over what happened to us over the last uh, week. So uh, to kick it off, hey, Jeremy. Yeah. What'd you do, bud? Lots of stuff. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, so many things. 
mm-hmm. did the best thing, Scotty. Did you? I did. Um, I don't believe you. Well, I'm going to tell you. Okay. I finished my bookshelf. One with a hole in it? Project. Yeah, that's that's right. The one I fuck. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I finished that up. We got that in the house. So I uh, finally got the garage cleaned up. We can park in there again. Cool. Till she has another fucking project for me <laughs> to do, which will probably be next week. Um, yep. I'll be building a nursery. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, wait a minute. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> uh, I've had a vasectomy. She's had a hysterectomy. As I've said before, if she winds up pregnant, she's carrying a demon. <laughs> and uh, Or the next Jesus. Ooh, yeah. I, yeah. How cool would that be? Not really. No thanks. Not really Jeremy, but Jesus. You know what? You know why I wouldn't want to have the next Jesus? Because. I'm the best fucking carpenter in the house, okay? <laughs> yeah. This yeah. dickhead doesn't need to be coming in here showing me up. <laughs> All right. Stay in your fucking lane, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Mm-mm. No, the Jesus. So anyways, um, wh- where was that? I don't know. Something about fishing oh, yeah. or the project or something. Oh, yeah. Jesus, no thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see. And then uh, then Sunday, I, I helped a good friend out with a construction project. Mm-hmm. Still waiting on a thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Derek has thanked me, I don't know, minimum 400 times for uh-huh. that. Yeah. <laughs> so sure did. I'd like 401. Um, <laughs> and then uh, guess what I did just before the show tonight, guys? What'd you do? Shave my balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a tradition that I have every Tuesday before Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be No Shave November, Jeremy. I know that. That's why I've been doing it. It's a tradition that I've been doing for like 37 years now. Hmm. which seems really inappropriate because that would have put me at like six (laughs) when I first did it. So there was no hair. A six-year-old probably shouldn't have access to razors like I did, Uh and he certainly shouldn't be taking them to his genitals. Was it one of those ones where your dad took the blade out and let you pretend you were shaving your balls like right next to him while he was doing his? Yeah. (laughs) Nope. Nope. (laughs) No, it was was a real – I had a straight razor. (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay. and I, I sharpened it on a strop. And, uh, oh, Dole's the only way to go. Yeah, I do mine, then do Dad's. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess he, he wanted me to practice on mine, really get my steady hand. Yeah. And then, but, yeah, I do that once a year. So uh-huh. uh, it really gets bushy. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, that's good. Good for you. Do you get all the gray out? I got it all out, Scotty. <laughs> it's good. Are you suggesting I have gray skin? No, nope. gray pubes. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. His new nickname I am is so close to walking out on this fucking show. His new nickname is Pops. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. Anyway. Because of the way I popped your sister. <laughs> Maybe. Damn. Talking yeah. about fucking her. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom. <laughs> uh was that it? Yeah. That was... I, I led right up to the beginning of the show. Oh. Okay. Right as right before I came here, I talked about shaving my balls. What else do you think came between that and this? I drove here. Good story. Jesus Christ. God. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Oh, God, how, I was, how was yours there, Derek? I can't Derek? wait until Matt well, takes over. Uh, today was kind of a long day. I was, clean, I was cleaning out my razor. Uh-huh. Yeah, I let Jeremy borrow it. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was weird returning it. It was a, <laughs> it was a disposable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he said, no, I want that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's going on eBay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 would you we got that? fans that'll pay big money for that <laughs> yeah. razor. Yeah. Weird that it was a, a lady shit. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, uh, I had uh, – Jeremy was actually showed up on Sunday. Uh, you weren't invited. No, um, I wouldn't have gone even if you would have asked me. But I was, uh, I was going to say, Jesus Christ, we sure could have used him. Yeah, right. I'm um, sure you could have, but I we, wouldn't have gone. Okay, here's the here's what happened is several times we were joking around, laughing around the whole time, which made us less productive. We sure could have used somebody who could shut that comedy down <laughs> <laughs> as before it ever got started. That's what really would have helped I, out. I would have been perfect. We could have been done by 10 a.m. There you go. So, anyway, go ahead, Derek. Uh, yep, so we uh, we did some construction. I finally, we got the, the frame up. I'm building a new deck. Yeah, and uh, Jeremy and my friend Jamie are, are fucking being a huge, tremendous help, mm-hmm. and and got helped me get that framed up, and then are being have been, have been. I'm oh, done. Yeah. yeah, Jeremy's done. <laughs> I don't know. So, God, but, I tell you what, I used to think that I was handy until I come around somebody like Jamie. Yeah, 
who's like an actual professional builder, and then I realized just how useless I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, I felt like the retard. Just go go get that hammer. Just get, You're in the fucking way. You know what? Go get screws. <laughs> and you were still far more yeah. useful than Scotty would have been. Oh, totally. Get the ones that are half Phillips, half Torque, half, uh, yeah. half Flathead. That'll keep him busy for a couple hours. <laughs> so get the rest of this shit up. So, uh, no, so I went and we got that done, got that framed up, and... Uh, on Saturday morning, I decided it was uh, time to quit the job. So, yeah, buddy. Uh, yep, I'm doing this full time. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you decided said, to become a deck builder. Yep, yep, yep. Scott, no, weird. no. Podcast. Scotty said within two years I'd be able to quit my job, so I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, good news is is uh, I don't have any more rent to pay because I go. live out on the street. There you go. So nice. That, that's cool. nice. Why kick you out? No. Oh. No, we just couldn't afford the mortgage anymore. Oh, okay. That's weird. So. In less than a week. In less yeah. than a week. Yeah. Things went so south. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I splurged for that name brand cereal, and that just kind of put us over the edge. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the Fruity Pebbles knockoff brand? Dino somethings? I don't know. Okay. I was always on the Cocoa Comet side of things, oh, but I went yeah, with yeah, Cocoa yeah, yeah. Puffs this time because I was just feeling a little cuckoo. Shit, there's a draft we need to do eventually. Knockoff brands for cereals. I only know like three of them. I know, but we can look them up. So, yeah. But, yeah. So that was pretty much my week. I quit my job and uh, framed a deck. Congratulations on that so, whole deal, by the way. Which one? Quit my job or no, framed the deck? Oh, to- totally. I don't give a fuck about your deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So my, my week was, was rather uneventful. All right, then. Moving on. No. <laughs> no. I've got, I've got something that me and you actually agree on a lot. That you, that you can't come on his deck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I am I am getting I am getting super fucking pissed at all of the advertisements for find or, or go get a PS5 now. <laughs> I am so sick and fucking tired of it. Listen, I've been looking for one since the goddamn release date. You can't find anyone. They're all sold out. Shut the fuck up and quit making the advertisements. I'm sick of it. Listen, go buy one though. I would love to. Well, I would love fourteen hundred bucks. Hey, Fuck hey, that. guys, go buy one. We don't have any fucking games for it yet. Oh no, there's there's like oh, four. Oh great, yeah, that's four. certainly worth it. It's like Spinal Tap advertising for concert tickets. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, ridiculous. I forgot to mention I got a PS Five. <laughs> ah, you're such a dick. I, I know. Did, but, I didn't. I'm putting but, one on the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave, leave it out in the fucking weather and everything. Fuck it. I, I'm not even taking it out of the box. Just let it get rain soaked. It's storming out right now. Who gives a fuck? I'm, I mean, I'm hearing stories from like my brother. My brother actually got one and, and about like you have to like refresh every couple of times trying to click the buy now, buy now whenever they get a new shipment of them in and all this other crap. I, I've been hearing stories about that too. And then as soon as you hit refresh between the time where you can't buy one and then you hit refresh and they're sold out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'd just rather not fuck with that at this point. I'll, I'll wait three months. I, yeah. And I, then there'll be plenty. I know. And I'm not that much of a gamer because I'm a fucking adult. I don't give a shit. I am. I build decks for a living. Yeah. And, and podcasts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You build podcasts. Because, yeah, that's the other thing. I quit my fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the shit full time with Jeremy. Mm-hmm. You know, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Laughing on the I Sidelines pay my rent perspective. With, I, I pay my rent with Derek's thank yous. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that's why you guys live in my basement now? Called mm-hmm. us landlord 400 times this last week. Yeah. So Dude, you we got to get rid of these kids down here. They're driving me nuts. I know. Um, just put them in the sump pump. All right. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's going to clog shit up. Trust me, I know all about that. Yeah, I flushed a kid or two. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's I'm that's sure what they did. said really fucked up that check valve. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, moving on. Believe it or not, this is... See what is... I was talking about, about putting the halt to the comedy? <laughs> yeah, just boom. <laughs> Come in, Scotty German. But yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, fuck. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> There's the fucking devil wit right there. Yeah. Silver tongue yeah. devil. Yeah. Uh, d- yeah. <laughs> Rimshot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Waiting on Scotty to take like one of his fucking cards and just, all right. Just like Letterman. <laughs> just like him. Just like him. <laughs> you, know, you know how Dave would look over. And, you, you know, that, that's right. That, and Paul? No, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was exactly how Letterman did it. Oh, okay. Great. That's fuck, well, there it is again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Well, believe it or not. This no, is... we don't want it. 
<laughs> Out of my house. <laughs> this is uh, this is episode one hundred and one of our Laughing on the Sides Line show, where this is an actual sports show. So oh, we got to get to the episode. sports. The wild nice. turkey. Yeah, wild turkey episode. One hundred and one. Yeah. Oh. oh. And it's Thanksgiving wild turkey episode for sure. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. I'm oh, in. yeah, that was something else that I did. Oh, what's Let up? me go back into my week. Uh, we bought our Thanksgiving dinner Yeah. today. Uh, we're going non-traditional since we're not doing it. My family's called off Thanksgiving. I think I think a lot of people uh, have. We, we went and bought a couple of really nice ribeyes from Sig's Meats in Derby. Mm-hmm. Not a sponsor. Yeah. Um, but, no, they're <laughs> an actual butcher shop, and they've got some really good meat. And uh, by that, I'm talking about the cocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure um, you did. And vaginas. Mm-hmm. Um, I call that meat. They don't like it. <laughs> you ever put a horse vagina on a smoker? <laughs> yeah. No. It's fucking amazing. All the fucking time. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got to use hickory. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you got to really, use hickory. really sucks in that, that smoke. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll use cigarettes, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Got to get that tar. How yeah. do you like the labia? Medium? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it to still be stinking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put any ketchup on there, though. I'm no Mahomes. Mm-mm. Oh, God. No, it's, it, 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 listen, honestly, I'm, I'm going to Scotty territory here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I dropped my phone all over the fucking floor. There you go. But, <laughs> no, if, if you get good vagina lips seasoned right, <laughs> they really shouldn't need any kind of a steak sauce no, or anything. you got to use the right rub. You, you, put, you put steak sauce on pussy lips... <laughs> You, that means you don't know how to cook pussy lips, <laughs> horse or otherwise. Yeah. Oh god. And I think anything over medium, you just you just ask people to leave. Gotta love that equine vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Squeeze a little lemon on it. I think. It's, yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, you know, sometimes brush it with maybe apple jar. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had an applesauce soaked horse vagina, <laughs> folks? Folks, you don't know delicacy. <laughs> and, uh, man, my wife makes a great labia tartare. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, these assholes who put it in the crock pot with liquid smoke, fuck no, those no. people. Fuck those people. <sighs> yeah. It does, and like the Instapot, what are you doing? What are you do? no, yeah. no, thank you. Put you it in well the work. Just, you might just throw that horse puss in the mm. fucking microwave. <laughs> You might as well get it from a fucking takeout joint at that point. Right. Uh, that's actually what the Arby's roast beef sandwich is. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh. you've tuned into a sports <laughs> podcast. I'm sorry. I'm still over here trying to, to regather myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways. That's why I took over the hosting duties temporarily. You did a great until job. Until Matt does it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on to the sports, we got a lot of sports to go over, and both of you guys are a bunch of pricks. Uh, but anyways, let's start off with a little bit of the NBA. We had the NBA draft. Mm-hmm. Anybody watch that? Uh, no, I saw a couple of guys burn their draft cards, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. A couple of fucking Canadians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck them. I what are you talking about? Dodging the draft. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. They didn't want to get fucking drafted. <laughs> yeah. I want to go free agent. Yeah, okay. That's what they said. Um, I Mostly saw, people from DeVry. I saw LaMelo. LaMelo got selected by the Hornets. Great. Yeah, he went My, third. Yeah, he went third. And I think... Is this of the... Uh, is it Alonzo Ball? Yeah. Family? Yeah. That LaMelo Ball. Same, yeah. Mm. Same group of pricks. So that means dad will have more room to interject his opinions. Exactly. That guy knows what he's talking about. But been I, pretty quiet the last year. Right? You haven't heard too much about him. Yeah, but... Once his boy got traded, he was... Pretty much done. I don't know. He'll end up chatting away because I guess out of all of the boys, Lamelo is supposed to be the best. Yeah, out of all of them, and um, and I think Michael Jordan just had him get drafted so he can play him in a game of one on one and still own his fucking ass. Um, Who went one? It wasn't Wiseman. Wiseman went two. The guy from Georgia went one. Yeah, and I I don't know. I, again, I his name it, with with Anthony that, Edwards. With with the end of March Madness not being around last mm-hmm. year, it just didn't have that. You know, that grab. Like, you really didn't care. You didn't really want to watch it. The only people that you really wanted to see where they went ended up being people like Ball and, and you know, really, I that's know you it. like seeing balls. Yeah, of course, Jeremy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony Edwards went one. My mm-hmm. favorite thing is the number four pick, mm-hmm. the Bulls. Took like Patrick Williams out of Florida State. Okay. Not a lot of experience really starting. 
Uh, sounds really familiar of something a Chicago team would do. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a project <laughs> that they think is uh, could pan out. I mean, he's six foot eight, seven foot wingspan. But uh, he was a complimentary role for a Seminoles team that didn't rely on anybody in particularly. So when you say he Anthony was a, Edwards, he was a you... bench player essentially, yeah. and he went fourth. So way there to go, go, Chicago! There you go. Uh, I didn't know mm-hmm. Ryan Pace was GM in the fucking Bulls too. Oh yeah, they're all. Connected. They should hire him. He knows what he's talking. Oh, about. Oh absolutely, yeah. God, can that guy analyze? Boy, that guy knows hardball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Anyways, when you say Anthony Edwards, when mm-hmm. uh. Okay, are you talking about the uh, the guy who played Gilbert from Revenge of the Nerds? That guy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dr. Mark Green on ER? Yeah. Dude, sure. I didn't know that guy could hoop it up that stuff. Oh, yeah. For sure he can. Well, that show did take place in Chicago. Oh. So, yeah, that would make sense that well, he went to the Bulls. The guy to look at right now, I believe, is uh, his name's Amani Bates. He's uh, he'll be, I think he'll be a senior this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, they said if he would have went in the NBA a year or two years ago, he'd have been the number one pick. Okay. He's fucking. Okay. I guess he's a. He's a. Who's he play for? Nobody right now. He's still in high school. Oh, all right. Yeah, he, as, as a sophomore, they said he would have been the number one pick in the draft. Does he, does he have hair like Patrick Mahomes? I don't know. Uh, if that's the kid I, that you're talking about, you are right. I mean, they, they are correct. He is a f- bad motherfucker. Yeah, I, I only a, look I mean, at pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any. And Jeremy. how much I'd like to shave it. Uh huh. But. Let's that guy see. should hire me to be his ball shaver. <laughs> yeah, he's got tight, kind of like Mahomes' hair there. Uh, let me see. Oh wait, that's Jalen Green. Jalen Green's good too. Okay, but Imani Bates is this dude. Right Somehow now. I feel yeah, like kinda. saying yeah. he has hair like Patrick Mahomes yeah. sounds racist. <laughs> well, it's a style, <laughs> man. Oh, you're talking style, not just yeah, the hair style. follicles. Yeah, like yeah. that because <laughs> yeah. this is the style. Mm. Does he have hair like Ron Jeremy? No. Okay. Uh, the other cool thing, which is why I'm wearing my jersey today. Uh, I think this is really cool, and I don't give a fuck if you guys don't like it. It's laundry day here no. at the German household. No. Uh, Fred Van Vliet for the Toronto Raptors. He agrees to a four-year, $85 million deal to stay with the Raptors, and this is the largest contract ever for an undrafted NBA player in history. Well, let me stop you right there. What? For now. Could be. I am in talks with the Seattle Supersonics. Okay. And mm. I told them I want a hundred million a year. Okay. Not not over four. One year I want a hundred mil. Okay. Still haven't heard back. Okay. What what but, he said on the phone was I want a hundred mil for four years, and they said, Okay. I said one year. Oh, one year. Well, I only want it for one. And and but they were like, All right. They said they'd get back to me mm-hmm. and they haven't yet. But uh, I think uh, good when, news, when was good this? things. Uh, this was in 1996. Okay. You're so. about as athletic as a Down syndrome duck. That's very hurtful, Scotty. That That's sure very is. true. Listen, God damn it. Here's the thing, Scotty. You show us so much fucking disrespect on this show <laughs> that it's really getting insulting. <laughs> yes. We deserve better. I don't care. <laughs> you told him to quit his job in two years. I yeah, did two and years I did. Ago. I didn't. Yeah, thanks to you, he Scotty. The guy's did. on the fucking street. And you're talking about my athleticism. I recall beating you in a foot race. When the fuck? No, it, no, you, you guys are oh, absolutely. Feet? Jeremy, you remember? You, uh, you, yeah, he shot the starting gun. Okay, fuck yeah, I did. All right. Well, I was I was shooting at Scotty. You, mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't a starter's pistol. <laughs> nope, it was loaded. That was a 38 special. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bad shot. <laughs> Uh, you know, I heard you have a career as a stormtrooper in the future, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> Very was, good. Dude, that was some Scotty S comedy right there. No, I'm impressed because he didn't even watch Star Wars. Yeah, I don't watch Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Uh, Got it. Uh, they're very good. Uh, but good moving one. on to college basketball. College basketball starts uh, Wednesday. So it sure does. If except, you're listening, for, except for Wichita State. <clears throat> why? Huh? They had no, they started. Back. They all got COVID. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, cool. All of them? Four of them. They, I think they made six. them fly all back. Was it I, six? I think it was six of them. Hmm. Uh, but, eh. Yeah, don't undercut them. Dude, <laughs> that's the only thing they're going to have high numbers on this yeah. year. <laughs> COVID. Thanks. I don't care. I'm a diehard fan. Dude, leave it alone. That wasn't an insult at you. That was an insult just to COVID. A, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Making fun of COVID. Fuck you, COVID. Yeah, fuck you, COVID. We don't care for you much. Yeah, yeah. you're the Scotty sister of diseases. Oh, mm. God. Easy to get. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and anyways, also uh, Thanksgiving Day, you've got KU versus Gonzaga. Go Gonzaga. Go Gonzaga, baby. I, I hate it every time they make 
Gonzaga ranked number one. I do too. Because they always let down. They never deserve it. Yeah, and when's the last time they won a national championship? I don't think they, they have. never have. That's the correct answer. When, never. When was the last time they were good? Um, I mean, okay, not not good, <clears throat> but they didn't start being good until, what, 20 years ago? Oh, They're yeah. They're not they, like yeah. a traditional powerhouse. No. I don't understand why you would give them a preseason first tra- they were good one when, They were good when Stockton played for them, I believe. Yeah. K-State beat them when they came to town. Little Stockton or Old Stockton? Old Stockton. Old Stockton, Old Stockton they were good. Was he yeah. at Gonzaga? Yeah, yeah, he played at Gonzaga. That's why, little Gonzaga or that's why Little Stockton went to Gonzaga. And then Fred We Lane, like to call him Lil John. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lil John Stockton. Lil John yeah! Stockton. <laughs> Lil John Stockton went to Gonzaga. What? And then... Uh, and then <laughs> no, really, I, my headphones don't... What? <laughs> I don't know. All right. You're loud. Yeah. Okay! <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, 1990s. But uh, yeah, uh, go uh, go Gonzaga. What was 1990s? Little when, John. Little John. Well, it was no, it was really late 90s. No, it was, it was late 2000s. It was late 90s too. He was around the late 90s. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure he was around, but he wasn't making good music. Yeah, like well, he way. wasn't in the 2000s either. <laughs> so ah, uh, you beat me to it. He's never made good music. Just uh, just, just a phrase. Just three words. Okay. Yep. yep. Turn down for what? Uh-huh. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That belongs up there with everything the Beatles ever did. <laughs> <laughs> the masterpiece. I actually think McCartney wrote that. And then yeah, of course he, he and did. And then Little John remixed it. George Harrison actually wrote oh, it before George he died. Harrison? Yeah. Since we don't I f- forgot. I think it was Lennon that wrote Till the Sweat Dropped Down My Balls. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. 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 And I don't know why they give the Yin Yang Twins all the credit on that. They no, shouldn't. I, oh, man, it was... It Probably because they're just so good looking. So... Do you remember, or did you guys recently, have you seen a live concert of Metallica, like on YouTube or anything like that? No. Oh, Kirk Hammock is getting gray, and so is James Hetfield. Fuck you, Scotty. Oh. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That happens. Oh, man, but it's just... It's that doesn't not mean the, you can't still kick ass. Uh, yeah, a little bit, because it, it just doesn't look the it doesn't look the same. You, you know who like else long, is gray? Who? The Undertaker. He still mm-hmm. kicks ass. That's fine, but, I mean, dye your fucking hair or some shit. I don't know. You're talking about James Hetfield? Yeah. That guy? Yeah, that guy. I can't... I. Oh, man. It's been a while. I used to be able... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to put you through that misery. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't even know what you were going to do, but... But it's probably right. a good thing. Mm-hmm. Every single time he comes up to the mic, it doesn't oh, no. matter if Here he's comes. singing. Here it comes. Okay, I won't. Now do it. You dick. <laughs> I want to do it. I want to hear this. <laughs> no. Your voice is like sweet, sweet horse vagina to me. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Okay. Um, this weekend, you got Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. It's actually going to happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, and I'm actually surprised because I was curious. Okay. I thought Mike Tyson was so much larger than Roy Jones Jr. was. And as far as the, uh, you know, measurements between these two gentlemen, I was thinking that Roy Jones Jr., he was a champion in four weight classes, mm-hmm. right? And Mike Tyson was the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. I did not realize that if you look at them actually on paper, Roy Jones Jr. actually has an inch of height advantage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyson was short. Tyson, I knew Tyson was short. I knew he was really short. Tyson he was like 5'10". Yeah, five his, ten, yeah. Five his ten. body style or his body shape was actually more probably suited for light heavyweight. I agree. Uh, but he was very, very stout. Oh, yeah. I mean, he he was up to two twenty five or something like that. I think mm-hmm. it was his fighting weight. Yeah, but I'm so sh- I mean that put him out of light heavyweight range, and he beat the shit out of all the heavyweights. <laughs> yes, he did, or a lot of them anyway. Mm. God damn, I don't box, and I'm still trying to get down to Tyson's fighting weight. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? And Roy Jones also has a, a reach advantage, seventy four inches to Tyson's seventy one. But I, I wasn't all that surprised about that, considering the fact that Tyson fights in a fucking phone booth. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what he tries to do. Yeah. yeah, he sits there and just fucking curls on you and just knocks you the fuck out. Mm-hmm. My question is, what year is this? I 20, mean, we've talked about John, we've talked about John Stockton, <laughs> John Stockton. We talked about Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., and Little, Little John, John and the East Side Boys. <laughs> what fucking year? Oh, and the what, Seattle whoa, whoa. Supersonics. Whoa, what year is good. this? Whoa, we never brought the East Side Boys up. <laughs> Beatles. God, the Beatles were the East Side Boys. Yeah. Is that true? Oh, yeah. yeah. God damn it. Yeah, L- London's <laughs> east. Liverpool. It sure Liverpool, is. Liverpool yeah. is east. There you go. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I uh, still hate Ringo. Abbey I, Road, A-Town Down. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so who do you got? Do you think Roy Jones or Mike Tyson? Tyson. Do mm-hmm. you think Roy Jones? Roy Jones. Roy Jones is the more skilled boxer. 
Um, and at this age, they're not going to let it go very far. Eight but rounds. With that re- Right, but the refs are going to keep a real fucking close eye because they're both geriatrics. But <laughs> yeah. Roy Jones has – he made a late career comeback, like in his 40s. Okay. Um, and he – I think he got up to being ranked contender again. He, eh, technicality. But still, it was a tremendous thing for a guy of his age mm-hmm. to be able to do that. Now, when he was asked in an interview why that wasn't getting more publicity – his response was, because I'm black. Oh. When's the black man going to get a fair shake in the fight game? Let's be honest, guys. <laughs> When's that going to happen? When are black guys going to be considered good at boxing? <laughs> Jesus. That was the most ridiculous fucking answer in yeah. the history of answers. And there's been a lot of answers. Yeah, yeah. But anyhow, um, yeah. no, I think Roy Jones Jr. is the more skilled fighter. Mike Tyson, up until... Just this last year, wasn't even working out in the gym. Um, I'm still terrified of that man. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tyson has the puncher's uh, chance. Yeah. But if it comes down to skilled boxing, and Roy Finesse. Jones Jr. Finesse. takes it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'm going to take Tyson, and uh, I don't I don't know if it goes past the second round. And I still contend that Mike Tyson was not that good. He just fought at a time when there were no great heavyweights. Oh, challenge on that shit oh okay. my god name me one great heavyweight that he fought and beat that was in their prime uh there <laughs> he beat larry holmes when he was 60 he beat, I, know holmes, I know holmes was old he beat spinks who was shouldn't have been a heavyweight i mean it was other than that it was just a bunch of nobody journeymen and the first time that he fought somebody good, Holyfield got his ass he got his whooped. ass kicked. Yeah, he did. But I think that whole thing with Don King fucked him up. Of course it M- did. Mentally fucked him up. Of course it did. As far as talent and strength, power, speed, agility, uh, if he didn't have a manager like Don King, I think he would have been phenomenal. It, I don't ever. He's still my put, favorite ever. Oh, I don't I put him in my top ten heavyweights of all time. Whew. That's mm. that's. Ollie would have whooped his ass. Maybe? No, Tyson would have ate his children. Mm -mm. (laughs) His defense is impregnable. Uh. (laughs) I would eat his children. Praise be to Allah. (laughs) Oh, Lordy. Okay. I'll fuck you till you love me, ho. That's what he said. Oh, that's great. Moving on, we get to get into the NFL on week 11. How'd you guys do this week? Uh, Derek did great. (laughs) Fantasy-wise. I think I... Beat the shit out of Jeremy like a redheaded I, did, stepchild. Did I score fifty points? You got fifty. You did get All fifty. Right. Yeah. You only lost by about almost seventy. Just just a hair <laughs> just under seventy. Just a hair 70. under seventy. I, had, I I just I don't get it, and I'd love to blame it. In fact, I'm gonna blame it <laughs> completely on McCaffrey. I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> I knew he, you were gonna go there. He sets the tone for the rest of the team. I don't they think follow he was, his lead. I don't think he was getting you seventy. You don't know that. <laughs> ah, maybe. I mean, you're going to have a rookie quarterback just giving them the ball over and over again. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. he get a lot right. of touches. Sure he would. And it doesn't matter. You can try to tackle him all you want. Can't catch that motherfucker. He's lazy. Oh, he's quick. All right. And lazy. So, uh, yeah. There's only there's two people in our uh, fantasy football league that are 10-1. Uh, and one. I'm in second place. And Derek is in first place. Even though you beat Derek? Even though I beat Derek. I've mm. got more points. He has more points, which is a bullshit rule. Nah, it's a, it's a real rule. That makes sense. Well, yeah, it's still bullshit. Yeah. Uh, we we all know I should be winning that league. <laughs> the fucking predictions at the beginning of the season, would I, I would have one loss and would win the fucking league. I should have been paid the money up front <laughs> <laughs> and just given the fucking title, and we don't even need to put up with this bullshit. <laughs> and then you can stop talking about your fucking fantasy teams and boring all the fucking people. Okay, moving on. Week 11 started out with the <laughs> very first good football game on a Thursday night uh, this season. We got to see the Seahawks. Maybe ever. Beat the Cardinals. And uh, it it was a lot better game than I thought was going to happen after the third play. Kyler Murray ended up getting a fucking shoulder injury mm-hmm. and playing through it. Yeah. And it still was a great game. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly, but now the the division has L.A. at the top with Seattle and Arizona following close behind. 
Is the NFC West the best division in football? Absolutely. Certainly the most competitive. Holy shit, I don't think it's close. I mean, definitely the most competitive, but as far as the the most talent in one division, I think that is by far Mm -hmm. the best one. The problem is is that they could wind up beating the shit out of each other all throughout the year and not wind up getting three teams in the fucking playoffs. They might get two, but they might beat a third third one out. And that deserves it. sucks. Yeah. I really think that the Cardinals and the Seahawks deserve to be in there more than I think the Rams do. And the Rams are leading the division. They all deserve to be in there any more than anybody in the yeah. NFC well, East. Yeah. By, by deserve, do you mean the team with the best record? Because that's what decides it, and that would be the, the Rams right now. Uh, yeah, true. So, you know, you don't get to – it's not a fucking moral judgment, Scotty. Who are you to pass judgment on the fucking Rams? Well, Just because they left St. Louis. The Ram- Yeah, because I fucking hate them since they left St. Louis. But anyways, the Rams and the Seahawks are at 7-3. and three. The Cardinals Eric are at 6-4. Eric Dickerson and four. still play for them? Yeah. Really? Sideline. Great. Distributes the cocaine. Nice. There you go. Uh, let's see. I like the way you pronounce that, too. The cocaine. The cocaine. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. this. The emphasis on the wrong syllable? No, that's the from the song. That's how Clapton. That's how Clara, it. Clapton oh. pronounce it. Yeah, leave me alone, Dick. And, and Lil John. I can't leave you alone, Scotty. I'm I'm here stuck with you for at least an hour and a half. Okay, cool. Uh, and surprisingly enough, Kyler Murray with a shoulder injury is still better than Carson Wentz, completely healthy. Wentz throws two two interceptions in their loss to the Cleveland Browns, and the Browns are now seven and three behind the undefeated Steelers. That weather was shit, though. Ooh. That weather was horrible. Don't give that, a, That's don't the give a fuck. third bad weather game for the Browns in a row. Is uh, it? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I I, don't care. The Eagles are awful. Move out of fucking Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, <laughs> that'll take care of that. Discover the technology to build a fucking dome. Yeah. You, you, don't, you know? Honestly, you don't, you don't want to see the fucking Miami Browns? Yeah, <laughs> or someplace the Phoenix Browns. The what, what, what's a, what's a place with good weather that doesn't already have a Shreveport, team? Louisiana. The oh, Shreveport yeah. Browns. There you go. Yeah, they're great weather there <laughs> in Louisiana. <laughs> That's never fucked up anything in Louisiana. Nope. <sighs> Weather's great. Just build a dome. That's all you got to do. The, I'm so sick and tired of these stadiums that are that that like they just don't. Why? Build Scotty a piece of dome. I like the outdoor wet, the outdoor game. When it's cold really? as fuck outside, and yeah, I think that just adds a Scotty whole new... Scotty says just build a dome. He wasn't invited to help build a deck. <laughs> I'm not That's saying not I'm going to help do it. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, you say it like you just snap your fingers, boom, dome. Yeah. No! Like in Minnesota. Just went, boom, and they all of a sudden had a... Enclosed. Yeah, because the old one went... Boom! That's yeah. exactly what happened. Yeah, too much. It snow actually, got on that it, it more went. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking weird noise that, that, was, that made. That was one hell of a highlight reel. I love mm-hmm. watching that shit. Uh, that okay. and the one of the Vikings fucking <clears throat> getting the interception and running it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, those are the two greatest highlights in Vikings history. Yeah. Uh, so check this. Even after their loss against the Browns, the Philadelphia Eagles are still winning the NFL least right now with a record of three six and one. Thanks to the NFL least. Oh, the sorry, NFC. NFC East. I'm sorry. The Thank NFC God least. For that fucking tie. Scotty goes old school. He still goes AFL NFL. Yeah, yeah NFL, he still NFL. calls them the New, New York Football mm-hmm. Giants. I do really? actually call them the New York Football Giants. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the Eagles lead the NFL or the NFC. I did it again. NFC least. Do it again. I'm bitch slapping you. <laughs> okay. At three, six, and one, no. all, all no. of the other teams. That was yeah, the you, most delayed flinch. I you actually the, don't need him to fuck up to do that. Yeah, you, you don't. can just do it. You just yeah, just let me go. Just mm. keep keep yeah. I'll no, keep, just hit him. Oh, okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else in the uh, NFC least is uh, three and seven. Do we get a team with? Five wins to go to the playoffs. You're going to get a team under 500 to go to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. That's a guarantee. Yeah, they're think, almost there now. I think uh, six and ten gets in. That's that. That's the low. That's the low number you're I going that, with. I think that's the low number, <sighs> which will be the lowest of all time, right? Yeah, because the Seahawks were seven and seven nine and when nine, they yeah. went in, and then won a game. Yeah, that's I'd when, like to see somebody when, from that division win the, win when, the fucking <laughs> t- Super Bowl. Ain't Just fucking happen. No, it's not, but I would still like to see it happen because it turns out the reason for their shitty record is just so competitive. What would be great is if the Washington football team won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And I really want to see that Sports Illustrated commercial. Yeah. Washington football team fans, <laughs> it's the moment you've been waiting for. Your team has won the 2020 Super Bowl. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> now get your commemorative gift with a Washington football team plaque. Yeah. <laughs> And they would forever be the Washington football team. Now, now that you've won the Super Bowl, where are you going to go? To the Chumash Casino, <laughs> where, where they have the highest paying nickel slots <laughs> in all the seven clans. Nice. Huh? Uh, let's see. Do Everything do. is still a Native American reference with them. Just not the team. Just not the team. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm yeah. going to get some, some slather myself up in Lando Lakes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hook out sp- a log for a canoe. <laughs> I'm going to smoke an American spirit and kill a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by God. that, he means a student at Colorado University. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Taysom Hill makes his first official quarterback start for the New Orleans Saints and rushes for two touchdowns as the Saints beat the Atlanta Falcons. Still has not thrown an NFL touchdown in his career. I think he did, didn't he? No. He didn't throw in this week. Oh, yeah. No, he never has. Yeah, you're right. You're you're, you're exactly He's completed passes, but not for touchdowns. He's what they wanted Tim Tebow to be. Are you sure? I want to say that they maybe did a touchdown, like a trickery play where he I've only heard it a thousand times on the fucking radio, sports radio. I believe you. So they you listen to sports radio a thousand times this week? Yeah, really. What the fuck, Jeremy? At least, yeah. Why don't you just listen to us? Well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just I, I have a tape at home, cassette, oh, and yeah. I just rewind it and listen to it again. Oh, nice. Because I can't help but listen to your dulcet tones, Scotty. <laughs> Great. It's, it's my ring back on my phone, just Scotty. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> who do you think is a better quarterback, Jameis or Taysom? Who, who would you rather have? Taysom. As of right now? Yeah. Yeah, Taysom. I mean, as long as he's winning you games. Till sure. Till whenever Breeze gets back, I mean, the the nice thing about having it's the Winston fucking there, Falcons. Well, okay, here's the thing: you go in the next game with him as the starter, he starts fucking up. You got Winston there to put in, sure. But as of right now, if they can keep executing the game plan like what they have, why not stick with the hot hand? I like Jameis better. I he, think I remember saying that Jameis wasn't locked in to start last week. You were correct. That, that, it very well could be. I heard him. it on sports radio. Yeah. That he was. Uh-huh. So that's how credible of a source we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you're right. just, just throwing that out there. All right. Hmm. Don't give a fuck, Derek. Shut up. Feel free to catch yeah. me. Yeah. You win this one. Yeah. You win <laughs> this round, Alders. <laughs> how many fucking jobs you got? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a podcast guy. That's true. <laughs> Not even a host, just a guy. Uh, you got no home, but they let you take that <clears throat> deck. Yeah. Mm hmm. Taking that with me. Mm-hmm. Sad story. Put in your bindle. Sad mm-hmm. story for the Cincinnati Bengals. Unfortunately, Joe Burrow is now out for the remainder of the season after tearing his ACL, MCL, and doing other structural knee damage. Uh, he may be out for nine to twelve months. Walk it off. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck it. Get puss. a cortisone shot. Put some icy hot on it, and get back <laughs> out on the fucking field. It, do like do a Ronnie Lott and bite your fucking knee off, dude. <laughs> or do a Danielson. Have Mister Miyagi just. Oh shit! Yeah. That's what they should have done. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just have some Asian guy on the sidelines that looks like Pat Morita because he's gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 too bad. That's too bad. Let's have a moment of silence, Pat Morita. <laughs> That's what people love on podcasts, moments of silence. Yeah, dead air. Wax mm-hmm. wax on, wax off. That's what We I call them moments of silence when yeah. we have dead air. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, the one thing I did want to talk about, because I don't think we ever have uh, brought this up. but Where this babies was, come from? No. When a man and a woman really from love a, each no. other. They come from a puss, Scotty. I mm-hmm. know. Right out of there. Not not, not <laughs> Derek. He came out of an asshole. That's not um, true. However. It's not true. I dripped down an asshole, mm-hmm. but I didn't. Oh, gross. Anyways. There's that comedy <laughs> tongue we're talking about, folks. <laughs> that brilliant wit from Scotty German, no, I'm a.k.a. Try- Scooter McFuckstick. I'm trying to move the on. The wild and crazy guy uh, here. I, I'm, I'm trying Why to would you on? try and move on from that? We're talking about dripping down ass cracks. <laughs> this is what people want to hear. Drippy ass cracks. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't think they do. People are like, I don't mm. care about the sports. I want to hear about horse vaginas <laughs> and drippy ass cracks. That's what, what the people want. You you don't get our fucking listener mail. Do do I smell a new segment? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do we want to? You know why? What are we going to call this one, Jeremy? What, what would you call this one? Uh, horse vaginas and drippy <laughs> ass cracks. That's what I'd call it. <laughs> and questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. What I was going to ask was, mm-hmm. uh, this was one of the very few a- ACL, MCL tears that was actually on actual grass. Most of these injuries that have had severe ACL, MCLs, a lot of damage have been on turf. Do mm-hmm. you buy that that has something to do with it? What this means is that Joe Burrow has shitty ACLs and MCLs. <laughs> yeah. That's he got discount fucking ACLs and MCLs. Oh yeah, that's that's what this means. Trade him, trade him to the Bears while you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, listen, it was like I, I don't know how many ACL and MCL tears have there been in the NFL. Yeah, I'm going to say a thousand, and up until this weekend, it was a thousand to zero, and now it's a thousand to one. I think we can still probably say there's something to that theory. This yeah. was just a really Freak awkward one. fucking yeah. freak hit. Yeah. I didn't actually even see the hit. I was busy building a fucking deck like a true friend did mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and not being a fucking dickhead that fell asleep at 7 o'clock. Mm. Talking about you, Scotty. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Well, I stopped to that, Jeremy. I stopped paying attention, you prick. You should have. Um, I wasn't saying anything important. Uh, let's see. Rookie PJ Walker. Quarterback for the. Uh, By the way, you know Carolina. who else was there? Matt. Was he building the deck? Yeah. Was he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that. It was it was a podcast party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. It was new, just, new yeah. podcast. Matt Rickles and Bob Millette mm-hmm. were all over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bob, Bob, <laughs> working their asses off. Yeah. yeah. Bob Boy, does return your no texts. <laughs> he did that day. Oh, did he? I told him you weren't going to be there. Oh, okay. He actually sent him a postcard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A carrier pigeon. Wish you were here and. Bob was like, oh, fucking wish is granted. Yeah. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Build a deck. He wasn't, we weren't even going to do it until Bob showed up. <laughs> Bob just says, I got a great idea, guys. I said, what's that? He said, let's build a deck back here. I said, fucking, mm-hmm. that's a good idea, Bob. We, we chopped down Derek's beetle trees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we milled some lumber out of it and built a fucking deck. That's Absolutely. what we did. We all fucking, I took uh, about six pairs of pants, hemmed them up real short and mm-hmm. tight. And that's what, <laughs> that way we got maximum flexibility. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, actually it was the fact that we couldn't flex but and we we didn't have ladders so we all had to sit on each other's shoulders chicken fight style pounding in nails and shit it was hammer it, it up, was real up, up, up. it was real teamwork the, the way you'd think a podcast should go oh that's great Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, rookie quarterback P.J. Walker starts his uh, first NFL game uh, as a Carolina Panther. Shout uh, or shut out the Lions and the Steelers smoke the Jaguars. Nobody was surprised about uh, really either of those two games. Um, I think when you're an in, when you're a rookie quarterback in the NFL, if your team shuts out the other team. It's pretty easy to get a win. Absolutely, you really don't have to take any heroic measures any, at that point. Any through two picks too. Right. I mean, he didn't. He didn't look all that great. Needed Christian McCaffrey is what he needed. Did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> um, um, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You needed Jesus. Mm, mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not even baby Jesus. He ain't coming to the house. No. Nope. He ain't invited over for Christmas. It's COVID scare. Yep. So the Steelers remain undefeated. However. Thanksgiving Day, they play in the marquee game against the Baltimore Ravens. Go Ravens. Ravens are coming out of a, or they're coming off of an overtime loss against the Tennessee Titans. Do the Ravens beat the Steelers? Where is it at? I believe it's in Pittsburgh. Mm. Pretty sure, anyways. Not like it really matters, but. Yeah, because mm. of the fucking crowd noise. Yeah. Um, I, I'll tell you this. Whatever the outcome of this game, it will be so yeah. Raven. <laughs> <laughs> it is in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, so anyway, no the uh, the one thing that it was kind of funny watching one of the games uh, this past week. What might have been last night's game, or I think it was last night's game. They were no, it was a Chiefs game. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody got a flag thrown on them mm-hmm. and got like a well, warning for unsportsmanlike conduct, and I think it was from something they yelled from the bench. Hmm. And the announcers that they were actually out of the made, coaching box. Was it the coaching box? Mm-hmm. And the announcers had fucking made the comment, and they said, yeah, usually you can say whatever you want down on the sidelines, but when there's no fans here, those officials can hear everything you're saying. That makes sense. So that's kind of weird. That is well, weird. Well, I, yeah. I think because they can hear everything you're saying, they're very anxious to throw the flag Probably. when you get out of the box. <clears throat> uh, 
And oh, so, man. yeah, it's uh, they they don't really like what they're hearing. Boy, they would not like what I say whenever they're playing the whatever we're playing the Packers. Oh yeah, but the coaches are like, hey, you're not doing a good job and saying awful shit like that. Yeah, well, bad man. bad job, guy. Yeah, hey, that ain't right. That's what they say. Shucky darn. I remember one time I was at a an NCAA game and I had some kids that were like sitting in front of me. Did you beat mm-hmm. them? And I didn't want to cuss, but I was getting really angry, so I was just trying to figure out like clean ways to heckle. Oh, yeah? So I was like, hey, number nine, you're playing like a guy that really enjoys intimacy with other guys. <laughs> number 13, your mom is a very promiscuous woman. <laughs> very well done. Good job, buddy. Mm-hmm. So who do you got? Well, Ra- then you went and fucked one of those kids. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Ravens or Steelers this weekend? Or the, oh, well, Thursday, actually. I'm going to root for the Ravens. I'm rooting for the Ravens, but who do you actually think is going to win? That's the question. I don't think the Steelers are that good. I think it's a toss-up. I think it's a pick But Lamar's came down. Lamar's came back down to earth. Yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. think, I think they've kind of figured out Lamar Jackson. Lamar, I do, too. So. Uh, Hollywood Brown's not doing so hot. He doesn't have a lot of options to throw to. He's more like Inglewood Brown. Hmm? Who? Yeah, yeah he's more like Inglewood oh, Brown. Oh, Inglewood Brown. I didn't talking hear about you. I'm sorry. Not Hollywood. Hollywood. Inglewood. Inglewood always up to no yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Even L.A. up in here. Uh, I, <laughs> I'll, ta- I'll take I'll next take, week. He's going to be Compton Brown, <laughs> Pasadena. Where are you at? <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> that's too ritzy for him. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, San Diego. We'll go with that one. Laguna Beach. We'll go. Laguna You're picking Beach. San Diego in that game. No, La- <laughs> <laughs> I got San Diego. They don't. They don't even have a team. They don't have a team anymore. I La- think. I think Junior say I was really going to take. That, it to you him. are really down on Pittsburgh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Pittsburgh. I, hmm. I, I'm going to take uh, Baltimore to win that game. It's going to be close. Do you think that think. the Pittsburgh Steelers moved to San Diego? Yeah. I'd wouldn't, like to see them. They, they want to get out of that shit weather. Wouldn't you want to? That's where Cleveland needs to go. That's right. Mm. Nah, yeah. They've already got a fucking stadium there. Yeah. Cleveland's got Englewood written all over. Oh, sure. It's still better weather. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Texans end up beating the Patriots. I'm going to go with the Steelers in that game, Scotty, Is since it? you asked. You didn't fucking start tatting, little dude. Uh, I didn't realize I had to make my own space. Remember when you used to make a space for me? You're like, Jeremy, what do you think? Remember when that used to happen? <laughs> no. Like a real fucking podcast host would do? I'm going to throw something at you. Good. You uh, won't get it here. It's going to be shade. It's going <laughs> to be limp be, wrist it. Bet yeah. going to be shade. Captain Limp Wrist. Uh, Texans beat the Patriots, and Tua gets pulled mid-game against the Broncos after getting sacked six times. And the Broncos upset the Miami Dolphins. This is why I said, don't put him in too quick. Well, the good news is his hips are okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Apparently they don't lie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he didn't fucking tear an ACL or MCL like That's fucking true. Burrow did. That's yeah, so true. he's kind better of than that. Kudos to the Dolphins for doing that instead of mm-hmm. just leaving him in to see see how he reacts to it. Reacts to it. He's getting his ass whipped. Fucking let's pull him. Yeah, and then oh. F- Fitzpatrick goes in and then throws himself in an interception as well. So He threw. He, he picked himself off? Uh, no, he just Jesus, threw. that's incredible. He that's like one. some Air Bud type shit. It sure is. Well, there's no rule that says the dog can't play. Um, yeah. yeah. I think it's just because the Broncos are so fucking good. <laughs> That's it's what a, this really boiled down to. It's a fluke. It's our Drew Lock of the Week. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Despite a phenomenal game played by Aaron Rodgers, the Colts <laughs> pull out the win in overtime. <laughs> Is that what you think, Joe Buck? <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen, the guy makes fucking throws that nobody else can make. Nobody else can, can oh, I know. make. I know. Six, it's route, a, six yard crossing I, routes. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. He makes throws that nobody else would make. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Nobody else would want to make that fucking pass. Yeah. Three three hundred uh, three hundred yard game looked good, but the but the Colts ended up beating them. That's right. Yeah, on, a, on a fumble by Valdez Scantling, mm-hmm. who's on my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, again, I'm gonna go ahead and blame that on McCaffrey. <laughs> <clears throat> you should. He swatted the ball out of his hands. And last but not least, the Chiefs beat the Raiders on a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Mm-hmm. And Tom Brady never has two bad games in a row, but he looked like absolute garbage against the Los Angeles Rams. And uh, yeah, that was uh, great, almost to the point to where uh, did you any of you guys any of you guys notice that whenever Brady was whenever the game was over, Brady yeah. was walking off the field, didn't shake anybody's hand. Well, it's social distancing. He, he, he did that. He did that COVID with thing. He did that with Foles too. Fuck that. That's bullshit. The guy's a tremendous loser. 
Uh, he's really a good sport. He's just he a, doesn't get upset about things. Oh, bullshit. The guy really knows how. Whatever. And to his credit, he hasn't done a whole lot of it in his career. Um, let's, can we talk about the uh, Chiefs game? Yeah, go with the Chiefs game. What do you want to go with? Uh, the Chiefs have really reverted in defense. I it was some of the Does most, that mean gotten worse? Yes. Oh, okay. They've gone backwards. Okay. They've gone back to two years ago, Chiefs. Uh, their tackling was atrocious. Abysmal. I mean, dude, in junior high, you learn to wrap up the fucking legs. Okay. Do it. Scotty, didn't he learn how to print? Yeah. Scotty learned. <laughs> That's how what to... he learned in junior high. Mm-hmm. Sure he did. Oh, yeah. Well, and how to tie up their legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't get away because it takes a while to print that shit off. Yeah. Cu- <laughs> Cub Scouts, you know. Hold hold here. I got my fucking dot matrix going. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Come on, you gotta know how to do that shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a boner, Scotty. No big deal. That sound. Under the have, desk. He didn't mm. have thumbtacks. He had to improvise on how to stick those things <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> exactly. Had to had to use his own glue. Uh huh. Yeah. He didn't have access to horse, which makes us <laughs> such a tender <laughs> vagina. Oh yeah. Very tender. Sweet and smoky. Mm-hmm. North Carolina style with the coleslaw. Arby's oh. roast beef sandwich. Mm. I'm you gonna can get five Go- for ten. I'm gonna see Gordon Ramsay deal. cook one of those. That's oh, what yeah. I want to see. Sure. You call this a horse vagina? They got that horse and cheddar sandwich at the Arby's. In the American version, he would go filthy. This isn't horse pussy. <laughs> horse cunt. That's what he'd go <laughs> That's with. That's what he'd go with. That's the best. Love horse <laughs> cunt. You call this a horse cunt? You're a horse cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my accent. Nope. Not that, for saying cunt. Nope. It was just an awful accent. You almost sound mm-hmm. Australian. Uh, hey, dude, don't let fucking Delaney hear yeah, that. Where the Delaney hell did this that? horse cunt from come from? It's so dry, the Sahara? Where? By the way, did he send in a fucking message for our 101st? Uh, Gordon Ramsay? Right? No, oh, Delaney? 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 No, he didn't. I expect one for every fucking message for every episode now. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, he, he, he tried to call me on uh, on uh, Sunday, and I, I didn't. I was asleep. Jesus Christ, what a long-distance charge is on that? Nothing. Facebook Messenger, bro. Zero. You said call. Oh, Facebook Messenger call. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's I like to think he's still using a payphone down there. Oh, for sure. No, he's got one of those old calling cards. No. (laughs) (laughs) Prepaid. Yeah. Ten bucks at a time. Yeah. (laughs) It's 12 bucks to connect that call, but still. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Moving on. We got to get to uh, Jeremy's favorite uh, segment of our episode. Ah, yes. Horse Horse pussy pussy and and drippy crack. Dude, that should be a new fucking cop show. Horse <laughs> pussy and drippy crack. Oh. The fucking com- the <laughs> captain is always on him. The commissioner's up his ass. Oh yeah. my god! They're the fucking mavericks. The the loose cannons in the squad. <laughs> Too bad Dennis Franz is dead. Oh. <laughs> is he? I don't think, think so. He is. I think he died. No, I don't if know. not, well, that's the detective. I yeah. don't recall the flags being at half mast. <laughs> Because you know they would be. Absolutely. The guy huh? showed his bare ass on a fucking show, <laughs> uh, and he's built a lot like me. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. We better get to, uh, no, Jeremy's actual favorite segment. It's called Questions or Preguntas, if you speak Spanish. Yeah, he's still alive. All right. Sweet. Dennis Franz, is, uh, he's in horse pussy and drippy crack. Mm. <laughs> All right. First question. we got a couple of fan questions that we wanted to get to. Uh, first question we're going to get to is from Hunter Atwood. Uh, if you could trap... Any sports athlete alive or dead in Jurassic Park, who would it be? Benny Ogbayani. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Why? Because fuck him, that's why. <laughs> that's great. That's good. I remember him from throwing the ball into the stands with two outs. <laughs> was that him? Yeah, that, oh, was, oh, him. that was him. I just It's one of my favorite baseball names of all yeah. time. I love that name. That's him. Uh, let's see. I'm... I am going to go with... Uh, it has to be an athlete. Wait a minute. Can I change my answer? Yes. Usain Bolt. I, let's see how fast you are, fucker. <laughs> yeah, Damn it. Good. That was mine. That was good. <laughs> you fucker. Did you look at my pace of pain? I didn't. Uh, I, I just want to see if he can outrun a velociraptor. He can't. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Now I got it. That's exactly why I had it down. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I ruined everything. I'm Except gonna... that deck, which I'm still <laughs> waiting on to thank you for. I'm still trying to think of my least favorite, like, College basketball player of all time. Ooh, who? Ooh, ooh, Ray Trippy. LaFrance. Nope, Trippy. Trippy from Duke. What's his name? Piece of shit. Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Fuck that guy. Put him in that fucking spitting dinosaur cage. Fuck him. 
Oh, you want to put him in there with the little ones that spit shit in their face? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Oh, totally. Fuck that guy. I guess I'm going to go with Vince Coleman. Okay. Okay. He's pretty fast. I just want to see what happens when a fucking T-Rex gets fireworks thrown at him. <laughs> so <laughs> He would dunk on a T-Rex. Vin, that's Vince Carter. Oh, Carter. Yeah. Vince, Coleman, Vince Coleman. The old Cardinal, Cardinal Lamette who fucking threw oh, fireworks. Oh, that guy, that guy. Yeah, yeah. so... Uh, and uh, we did. We did actually. Me and uh, Derek were kind of messaging back with uh, a listener uh, as well. His name is Lucas. Uh, we've talked about him on the show before. He lives in Chicago. Um, he, he he's been on uh, NHL Network for. Uh, he plays. He's he's in a wheelchair, uh, but he plays hockey. Plays hockey in a wheelchair. Yeah. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. You just peel out on the ice. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't even have to check it. You just fucking shove your stick in the spokes. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how you check in, in wheelchair hockey? Is that, that, is that what happens? Uh, you, no. you get you get two minutes for high spoken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. No. Sure is. No. You got to get snow tires to play ice hockey on yeah. wheelchairs? He's happens? got chains. <laughs> yes. He's got tire chains. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anyway, no, he, he plays sled hockey. Sled hockey? Sled hockey, yeah. What the hell is sled hockey? It's, I mean, it's it's hockey for people that are in wheelchairs. So they're in wheelchairs or are they in sleds? No, they're in sleds. Are they on a hill? That'd be cool. That would be cool. Are they, That'd be fucking sweet. Are, are they being awesome. pulled around by a horse? No. Oh, no. Because that, uh, afterwards, you smoke up their vaginas. <laughs> Only that's, the losing, only the losing horse. Sure, oh, yeah, man. that's even better than throwing an octopus on the you, fucking ice. You got to throw a horse vagina. Uh, he kept on wanting us to make a, an inappropriate joke about somebody being um, uh, handicapped from the waist down. Well, I think we pretty much just did. Yeah, that. I think we did. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Lucas. Love you, brother. Anyway, uh, let's see, Marley, uh, Marley Vandernault. Uh, what would be the best way to settle disagreements between countries instead of wars? Mm. literal pissing contest <laughs> how far <laughs> yeah. how far or how long both okay yeah all right plus i think if you're anybody that's russian that can write their entire last name in the snow wins <laughs> like this <laughs> chick oh mm. man you'd have to get some really I, I guess they typically send our younger guys to war anyway when they get to my age the distance really is not <laughs> as impressive <laughs> in fact if it all comes out in one stream Mine usually looks like a fire hose, or not a fire hose, but a fucking shower head. Oh, okay. Just, Just imagine two I guys. I can put it on a massage setting if you'd like. No, you're good. Like old school duel style, just two guys back to back, 10 mm-hmm. paces, turn around, and then just start pissing at each other. <laughs> I'm going to take, I'm going to take like old school dodgeball, not the dodgeball with the fucking foam balls that don't hurt. I want I want the dodgeball with ones. rubber ones yeah. that actually oh, make yeah, noise yeah. that hurt a little bit. I want the ones that. that make your face numb when they hit you in them. I love those. Yes, absolutely. That's what I want. I want that to be the way we settle disputes. Okay. Ooh, what about a Nerf war? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Uh, might as well just go fucking like the airsoft guns if you're going to do that shit. Paintball. No, nah. I like dodgeball better. Quit being a bitch, Derek. Instead of war, I'd like to see them just shoot and bomb each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. We'll call it something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, all right. Because without war, you can't get war movies. Eh, well, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Very good. Love it. Cool. <laughs> okay, this was actually a question that came up on uh, our TikTok Live. You guys can watch us uh, go live on TikTok if you uh, follow us. Generally, we try to do that about 30 to 45 minutes before we start recording the show on uh, Tuesday evening. So uh, that normally happens at about 6.45. Anyway, Benjamin Strauss, what is the dumbest reason for a player to be fined? Or to be fined. Sorry, I messed that up, but whatever. Dumbest reason for a player to be fined. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if he got fined. I know he got ejected. Who's that? Uh, Adrian Beltre. For moving the batter's box closer to the home to home plate when he was swinging practice swings. I huh? mean, he got ejected, but that's the first one that pops into my fucking head. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Marcus Peters. Who's that? He used to play for the Chiefs. He's mm-hmm. a defensive back. Mm-hmm. Uh, he last year he broke up a, a game ceiling pass against the I think against Buffalo, and he ran into the stands and knocked back a beer. <laughs> After he did it. 
Good for and him. And he got fined like 14 grand for it. But what that, a that's, piece of shit. That's pretty funny. That's awesome. I think that's great. Good for him. And yeah. it was a game ending play? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. That, that, or, that or you could go with Zeke whenever he jumped in the... Oh, that was uh, a dumb one. Salvation too. Army uh, the pot. Salvation Army pot. And I'm yeah. not a big fan of Zeke, but that's a stupid. All that did was, I mean, all he's doing really is promoting Salvation Army. Exactly. So that was a pretty stupid fucking thing to get fined for. Yeah, and everybody now knows, and everybody knows when you say the Salvation Army pot, like it's Zeke. It's Zeke. Yeah. yeah. So how about you, uh, Jeremy? I don't know. You don't know? I'm trying to think of of dumb reasons why. I mean, there's the obvious dumb reasons. Why guys get fined? Um, I got one on top of my head. Another one. I've got Terrell Owens hiding a phone into a fucking uh, uh, the uh, fuck the field goal post. Oh, so we're going specifics. Oh, dude, that was the dumb. Well, To put a put a phone in there, and every, and they find right, him but there's not a fine just for putting a phone in there. It was for end zone celebrations or using props for end zone celebration they find them because they determine that if somebody would have ran into the field goal post and somehow not been protected by the very small cell phone that was hidden in the padding that it could compromise them and injure them and could be a huge liability go fuck yourself yeah that's the dumbest shit in the world and i can't stand to either does it have to be a league fine i don't give a shit what about for being late for practice okay we're talking about practice henry rowan gardner not not the game I love. Oh, practice. <clears throat> Talking about practice? Yeah, sure. Jesus Christ! I went straight out on Iverson. I know. I got it. I heard. No, you, you didn't, because you would have laughed your fucking ass off if you did, Scott. It was hilarious. Okay. That's Jordan hilarious. Jordan got fined for switching to forty five, which is stupid. Yeah, that's he got really fined for stupid. that. And I think whenever the Jordan ones came out, I think he got fined for wearing those because they weren't appropriate attire. Oh. Back when shoes were so fucking boring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If they find college basketball players, which they don't, I don't think, but if they did, there was a kid for K State when they played Kentucky in the NCAA tournament who dunked during uh, warm up yeah, uh, shoot around stupid. and got a fucking technical foul for it. Yes. Wow. Uh, which it, they, they don't do that anymore. They used to, but they don't anymore. All right. Mm-hmm. What anyway. about for selling the team's equipment? Yeah, that's okay. That, yeah. Okay, Anthony Reinhardt, if what? You, if you had to be locked... That's not me. No, Anthony Reinhardt has a question here, Jeremy. I thought you were talking to me for a second. I'm sorry. No. If you had to be locked in a room with three people you hate, who would they be and what would happen? I'm locked in with two right now. I was getting ready to say, there's uh, two out of three right there. Build and a then deck for a fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can only think of you two... And if I'm locked in a room, I am having awful, awful, terrible, terrible Sex. gas <laughs> farts and just smogging that fucking room just to piss you guys off. That's what I'm doing. What you got, Jerry? Nancy Grace, Pol Pot, and this doesn't have to be athletes, does it? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Benny Ogbayani. Because <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. Nice. And that's what had happened. A lot of fucking. Okay. Mine would be. I would pound Nancy Grace, even though she's a fucking ghoul. <laughs> Mine would be Bill Self. Oh yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Okay. And Cardi B. Oh yeah. And I'm pissing in every corner to establish dominance. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is what I'm doing. All right. Obviously not at your house. No. You don't no. have one anymore. No, it's on my deck. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, moved the house yeah. Yeah, onto just... the deck. That's how well constructed of a deck it is. Yeah. <laughs> It's now the foundation of the house. <laughs> yes. uh, let's see. We've got oh, we got two questions from a gentleman here. Uh, Greg Jorgensen, name something you can say in a traffic jam and during sex. Let me in, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've been signaling. Let me in. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Get that piece of shit out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there's shit here on the bed. Get it out of the way. I want to fuck you. Uh, 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 oh, my goodness gracious. I, I, I wasn't going that route. I was or just... you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, man. Keep riding my ass and see what happens. <laughs> would, you at least, come. <laughs> would you at least give me a signal? That would be mine. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, and here's a second question. Hmm. Which movie would be super weird if it had a sex scene? Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I love Normandy as much as the next guy, but if that gets you aroused, like maybe that's one way to get your fucking enemy to give up. I I'm going to fuck amazing. you into submission. Yeah. Ugh. Other than that, I don't know. Okay. Derek, which, uh, which movie would be super weird if it had a sex scene? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Why? Can you imagine the Oompa Loompas singing about the sex scene? <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing in the fucking world. In, out, in, out. That's how it goes. I'm really sorry I blew in your nose. That gives a, that gives a whole new meaning to a chocolate river. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my Violet, God. you're turning Violet. What? Stop choking me. <laughs> Oh, my God. I know uh, you said it was everlasting, but this is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, uh, uh, by the way, you guys, opinions. Better Willy Wonka. Johnny Depp or Gene, Gene Wilder? Wilder. Gene oh, Wilder. Gene Wilder. Oh, he was a thousand times creepier. Oh, yeah. But... And that's what that character had to be. Yeah, I didn't. That was just like trauma waiting to happen for all kids who watched it. Yeah. Um, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm going to take... Um... I don't know. Old Yeller. That's all Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was only ever around his mom and sister. Yeah. And the dog. And when the dog was dead. And the pigs. Yeah. And then the dog died. No, he was around the dog the whole time while it was alive, too. Yeah, but he shot the dog at the very end. Fucking spoiler alert, Scotty. Jesus. <laughs> What's that movie made in the I've only watched 70s? the first half. I loved it. Yeah. It's like <laughs> one of the best feel-good movies of all time. I it love is. a good dog movie. This is that and It's a Wonderful Life. Turns out he plays basketball. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What? what no, why Bruce did he shoot the dog? Did it lose a fight? Yeah, I like Mr. So. Mr. Free Throw. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, there's no rules. <laughs> yeah. This says a dog can't play basketball. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what catchers are actually saying to the opposing batters before the pitch is thrown? Nice dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that was okay. I want to say it was <laughs> Tom Glavin. Okay. Got an erection on the mound <laughs> and called his, pit, his catcher out there to block the view who looked down and said, man, you must really love to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a true story. It was either Maddox or Glavin, one of the two. Oh, oh I think it was Maddox. It'd have to be Maddox. Yeah, it sounds like Mad Dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. You got Speaking one? of Mad Dogs, let's talk more about Ole Yeller. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you, Jeremy? What uh, what do you think catchers are actually saying to opposing batters before the pitch? Have you seen how ridiculous this glove is? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing. There's no fingers in it. No nothing. <laughs> this sucks. Uh, I've actually. Uh, I mean, I've been in this situation before. Um, but I I don't I don't know what they actually say. I have absolutely no idea to make a joke. I just know what we normally do, which is we make noise. We would make noise on one side or the other. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't really say anything. Generally, it's a good conversation. So well, I think they're talking about a conference on the mound. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's to the batter, dumbass. To the batter. What did I say? To the pitcher. Oh, fuck. Pitcher. I th oh, before a pitch. Yeah, okay. before a pitch. I was, I was thinking it was pitcher. No. What are they actually saying? <sighs> oh. Hey, have you fucked Scotty's sister yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have? I'll go with that one. Uh, let's see. Bad racehorse names for an announcer to call out during a race. I've got one on this, and this is a right. real one. Okay. And you can look it up on YouTube, but there is actually a horse named Hoof Arted that was, was actually coming around a turn, ended up running the race, and the whole time the announcer's going, Hoof Arted, Hoof Arted, Hoof Arted, was, whenever he crosses, crosses the finish line. Hoof Hearted, wasn't it? Hoof Hearted or hearted, yeah, yeah. Hoof, hoof Hearted. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So. I'm going to go with Jesse Jackson's lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think he wins secretariat style, though. Yeah, He's for like, sure. Yeah. Mine would be horse pussy and drippy crack. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. uh, I think oh. fuck it would be a good name for a racehorse. Oh, for sure. Especially if he's last. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, Where it's yeah. like, all right, it's number eight, number five, number three, and followed up by the rear, number seven, horse, fuck it. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> I like it. All right, we better uh, we better hold on to some of these other questions for next week. We also, gotta... Sally Jesse Raphael. Oh, okay. Sarah Jessica that's, Parker. Sarah that's Jessica probably Parker. too young for you, isn't it, Scotty? Yeah, it is. Or too old. Ooh, I like this one. Before I we get onto the before we get onto the draft, real quick, real real quick. Uh, times when a slap on the ass is inappropriate. When you're taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> She shouldn't be down there. Uh, <laughs> that should be covered up. Oh, yeah. Baptism. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a pretty bad time to do that, I think. Yeah, I'd say that. I Just don't know. Right on the Dip him good, Padre. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold, hold him down there a little extra. Ah, yeah. uh, shit. I was going to say the... Uh, at the family reunion is what I was gonna say. Nah, that's all. That's how we shake hands. I figure, it especially was. in this COVID age, oh, we yeah. don't we don't bump elbows. No, yeah. no, just pat the ass. Okay, pat the ass or give it a little finger. Oh mm-hmm. sure. Because we right. walk around bare ass. My whole family reunion is always in chaps. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are gonna skates. the Jeremy <laughs> Joseph check the oil family reunion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the. Your reverse, fit. yeah, reverse mandible. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's my finishing move. <laughs> you missed out a good one on the live today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Derek had a great joke this weekend. I don't know if you're saving it for the stage. What? No, go about ahead. the uh, having sex with the uh, trans person. Oh no, no, part. that's not it. I didn't write that joke. Oh, you didn't? No, no. The best. Oh, I thought you did. No, the best Everybody part. Everybody acted like you did, and you didn't deny it. No, the best. Oh, yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> Yeah, I got this great bit about the seven dirty words you can't say on oh, television. Oh, yeah? What are working them out? <laughs> I hope one's pancake syrup. <laughs> no, that, that joke was just uh, the best part about fucking a transsexual is reaching around and pretending it went all the way through. <laughs> that is, yeah, well, that's, that's true. Uh, that's why we laughed so hard. <laughs> we, it wasn't Derek's joke. <laughs> yeah. And we already know that's not going to make it on TikTok anyway, oh, so no, we're can't. all right. Nope, I'm, can't. I'm hoping that was – there's no way that was Scotty's joke. No. No, I, I just read it on the internet a long oh, time ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but no, if you if you get a chance, you can watch us uh, go on TikTok live. Um, I'd say what about six forty five guys every uh, Tuesday evening Central Standard Time, roughly. And we had uh, what we, about Greenwich Mean Time? What time do we go on then? I don't know. Okay, yeah. All I know is that there was a there was a gentleman, and I can't remember who it was, that asked Derek if you could have or if you were a WWE wrestler, what would your finishing move be? Finger in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A reverse mandible claw. That's what I like to call that. Uh, Just fucking lobster claw him into submission. That's what I would do. It's so fucking awful. Uh, we better get moving on. Dry. Yeah. I Just straight remember. dry. I don't even remember what I said. I, I, don't I didn't have to at that point. <laughs> Oh, God. We better get on to the draft. And then if he doesn't submit, I put it under his nose. <laughs> <laughs> then the ref will do that where he raises your arm three times mm-hmm. saying, and he's out. That's he's it. out yeah, cold. that's it. Okay. Yeah. And not because he went to sleep either. He just fucking gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else this guy's going to fucking do to me. Oh, God. <laughs> he is so defeated yeah. at that oh, yeah. point. He just feels awful about himself. <laughs> Absolutely. Why is he bringing out a bottle of syrup? <laughs> oh, God. A <I> tap. <laughs> Okay. What is that sandwich? Is that horse pussy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we better move on. we got to get to the draft eventually. Uh, guys, uh, this... I dropped my phone on the floor. Oh. All over the floor. That's All where floor. my my picks are. Well, you better get them. Not, not picks are the phone company. <laughs> the movie company. I was really excited to watch a lamp jump on your eye. <laughs> Uh, last week, the, uh, what was last week's, what was our draft last week? Uh, I, like it was food mascots. Oh, yeah. that's right. Food mascots. I got my ass clawed. Yeah, you did. It was a while before you got a vote. It yeah, was. The likes had your ass fucking rocked for a while. Ronald huh? McDonald and the Burger King. Apparently, I'm stepping on some toes. Derek of those picked a serial that... pedophile as his first <laughs> pick. That's going to win you most of the time for most, most hated things. Yeah, and these guys didn't even know that Scotty hawked corn, but he does. <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, though. The, <laughs> Thanks, you dick. The, the, the guy was a serial pedophile, but boy, did he look good. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Lost, lost a lot of weight. weight. Lost, lost, oh, lost man. a lot of weight. Yeah, you burn a lot of calories, fucking sure kids. Sure you do. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we better move on to this week's draft. Part of his daily vitamin regimen. Yeah. This week's draft. Vitamin K. Is mm-hmm. best individual performances draft. 
So, uh, any uh, particular person that has uh, an excellent performance in one single game, uh, that uh, is what we're drafting. And I want to make this clear to the listeners. God that damn it. I hear some cheating going on. I feel no. like a stipulation or something is going on. Air that counts. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what the circumstances were. It Just because it was in the fucking finals or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't necessarily make a great performance is a great performance. Right. Okay. Now, maybe the circumstances add a little something to that, mm-hmm. but... That's not just our only fucking measuring stick. Yeah. Whoever that fucking guy is that no, I think maybe you've blocked. This is our favorite mm. oh. individual. Or do you want to go best or favorite? I don't well, care. it's always got to be favorite. Our opinion, what some of our favorite. Okay. I would, yeah, because it's not the best because we're not ESPN. We don't. That's true. Yeah, our favorite individual Wait a minute, performance. What? We're not ESPN? No. No. Remember, we're Stuart oh, Scott. Yeah, we're never, on. Stuart Stuart. Scott never called us back, and I don't think he is now. <laughs> I, I mean, forgot we're on the so. Howard Stern Network. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so since I was dead fucking last last week, I uh, get to pick first, mm-hmm. and uh, who won? Oh, yeah, uh, Dick Face over here did, and then uh, Jeremy. I think that was some sympathy vote. Yeah, I do, too. I really do, too. Just for, you know, mm-hmm. him, his recent homelessness. Yeah. Uh, so since I get first pick, I'm going to take uh, none other than uh, Michael Jordan in the flu game. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, uh-huh. thank you. Have a Boy, nice that day. was a dumb fucking pick, Scotty. You mm-hmm. kiss my fucking ass. All right. Is it my turn next? Yeah, yeah go ahead, dickhead. Uh, Will Chamberlain scoring 100 points in a single game. Yep. Yeah, I was going to go there. That was my second pick there, Jeremy. I, I can't believe you didn't have it as your first. That's be- fucking stupid. That's because, nah, there's there's a lot of reasons why. Okay, dick face, you get two. Kobe, 81 against the Raptors. Yeah, I got that one. He didn't one, play huh? in 1981. No, it was mm-hmm. back in 06. So he said 81. Uh, he scored 81 against the Raptors back in 06. Hmm. And right. I'm gonna go. Kerry Wood twenty strikeouts. I was gonna say if you didn't, if you don't take it, I'm taking it on the way back. Dude. Yeah, Kerry Wood twenty strikeouts uh, against was it the Astros? One hit, twenty Ks. Fucking amazing. Okay, hmm. Jeremy. I'm gonna go with Don Larson World Series Perfecto. Mm-hmm. I thought it didn't matter where it happened at. It didn't. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> that, brought up that, the, you brought it up that it was in the World Series. That well, that adds up to it. I mean, it's the only one ever. Okay. All right. Not the only You're perfect game, though. Just Only World Series perfect game. Okay. Which but I it think, didn't matter that it was in the World Series. Well, it's the best world, <laughs> It's the best perfect game of all time because it was in the World Series. I'm gonna, and it was my pick. <laughs> I'm going to take... Uh, let's see. I get two. I get two. All right. Hold on a second. I gotta, that was never in dispute, Scotty. I know, but I, I got <laughs> I to I I pick, pick my ones I want to get here. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, I'm going to take Doc Ellis's LSD no-hitter game. Ooh, that's a good one. Fuck yeah. High on LSD, didn't think he was going to get to pitch and put him in the game and threw himself a no-hitter. I, mean, I that's think that's why just, the Seattle Supersonics haven't called me back. Yeah, probably. He just got some shitty fucking LSD. LSD. Yeah. Didn't I, work. I know, I know. Uh, let's see. I'll take uh, Steve Young Super Bowl in 1995. All right. Yeah. What was that, 29? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jeremy? I'm going to go with 1990 Joe Montana. Okay. 476 yards and six touchdown passes. That's not that impressive. How many fucking touchdown passes did you throw that game? A whole bunch. Really? Yeah, it was a fucking piece of sperm in my dad's balls. No, you weren't born you were gripping, you were you were grippy crack that day. Oh, was I drippy crack <laughs> that day? Crack oh, that my day. bad. What year were you born? Eighty seven. No, you Wait, were what year was it? Nineteen ninety. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You I'm don't sorry. do math good. No, I just wasn't listening to you. No, he just <sighs> jumped, he just jumped back in his dad's balls is what he did. <laughs> said, Fuck it. Spent a lot of time here. there. That's I did too, shaving him. Get me out mostly. of here. That's um, why he's such a big diving fan. Oh yeah. Totally. Derek? Made for two, right? You for two. Adrian Peterson, two hundred and ninety six yards against the Chargers, three touchdowns. Uh huh. And Jordan, 63, game one of the 86 playoffs against Celtics. Okay. Did they win that year? In 86, they did not. Of course they didn't. That's why mine's a better Jordan pick. Dick. I don't care. He's 63 is <clears throat> a playoff record. All right. Uh, then we go back. Hmm. Jeremy. What? You get a pick, dude. Oh, all right. I'm going to go with uh, 1994. David Robinson scores 71 points. Fucker. Yeah, that was a good one. To uh, win edge out Shaq O'Neal. 
for the uh, scoring title that year. Last game of the season. Last game of the season. He needed, I believe, 70 to to win that, and he got 71. Okay. Hit a free throw. Try and that, Shaq. I get to close it out. Uh, one of my favorites. I'm glad I got to hold on to this one late. I'm going to take Jesse Owens in the 1936 Olympic Games. In front of Hitler, that fucked hard himself. He raced Hitler. Holy shit! No, but he beat How all the fast. F- was Hitler? He beat all the fucking Germans. Well, they were white guys. Let's be honest. <laughs> True. And then uh, I'm gonna take uh, David Fries. Who? David Fries, 2011 Game Six, hits the tying run, base hit, and then steps up with. And I think in both circumstances, down to the last strike. Hits the tying uh, RBI and then hits the game-winning home run. Go uh, to Game 7 of the World Series. Cardinals end up winning that World Series in Game 7 against the Rangers in 11. Great. Yeah. Yeah. We got Cardinal fans listening to this show. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. How are you two? Fuck off. (laughs) All right. Uh, Who is it? Me, but I was told to shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. Well, you can shut the fuck up. That's fine. I'm going to pout. I'm going to go with Jim Craig. Okay. Goalie for the U.S. hockey team, Miracle on Ice. <laughs> of course it's going to be in there. He <laughs> fucking spent the last 10 minutes of that game blocking a fucking shooting gallery and didn't <laughs> let a goddamn one go through. He was a fucking rock. Good for him. He won that fucking gold medal. Good for him. Good uh, for them, Scotty, and the United States. Good for us. Okay. Fuck Canada. Oh, yeah. What uh, What about you there, Derek? Well, I'm, I've got a couple here. Yeah, we got you're, this is your last pick, right? I know. Okay. Uh, part of me wants to go with Barry Sanders against Texas Tech. Ooh. 332 yards. Okay. Uh, part of me wants to go with Ali over Foreman. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. But I got to go Jerry Rice, 13, 225 yards, five touchdowns. But I got to go with the guy that fucking his entire nickname is based off of one game, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Fuck you. God I damn it. I have to do that. I, the only reason why I didn't take that one uh, was because I wanted to get my, my homer pick in there. Yep. But Re- Reggie Miller, uh, Eastern Conference game five where he was doing oh. the yeah. fucking choke. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. His yeah, whole fucking yeah. his whole nickname is based off of one baseball game. Mm-hmm. I've got quite a I few. I believe those were the only home runs he hit that whole series. Yeah. All three. All three. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple of, of honorable mentions. Oh, I got a bunch. I got a bunch too. Tiger Woods in the Masters '97. He beat the entire field by 12 strokes. Michael Phelps, Beige, Beijing Olympics in '08. Um, I like how Scotty took one in the Olympics. They call it the Olympic Games, but this is individual game performance. Yeah, it was Michael breaststroke. <laughs> Scotty's a fucking cheater, is what I'm saying. Uh, I didn't pick him, you dick. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you took uh. The other black Jesse guy. Owens. Yeah. Jesse Owens. That's a great story. Um, it, of course it is, but it's the games. Well, all right. Multiple events. Yeah, but four he, different events. But he won the the four that he was in. Which which one did you like the best though? Uh, four by one. Yeah, you got to pick one. The four. Yeah, you only four, get one race. Four by one. That's what Hitler wanted. Oh, the one that he was in with partners <laughs> with, with multiple people. You dick. Yeah. Really nothing. Not the master race. That's, uh, no, that's I, what I was like. You only, you only get to pick one race. The that's what Hitler long, the way Hitler would have wanted. The <laughs> long jump. The I think it was the long jump. The one hundred four by one hundred. And I can't remember the other Olympic event he was in. Shot put. Was he? No. <laughs> No, but what if it was? <laughs> <laughs> that fucker's out there heaving his shot put around. That uh, movie about him was phenomenal. I never saw it. It was really good. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got a let's see, uh, uh, LSU's Pete Maravich. Pistol Pete scores sixty nine in nineteen seventy. <laughs> <Sixty-nine. laughs> I knew you'd like that, Jeremy. Mm. Uh, T J Dillashaw versus Henan Barrow. That, that's probably the best MMA fight. Uh, probably one of the best performances I've ever seen. Uh, and then second to that is Cody Garbrandt against Dominic Cruz. Happy Gilmore. Oh, uh, uh, that's and that's the, bullshit. And the I players. couldn't have Air Bud, or I'd have had all five of my picks be Air Bud. Yep. Happy Gilmore in nineteen ninety eight beat Shooter McGavin. Fucking amazing. The other one I forgot. Banked it off the fucking tower. Beat the shit out of a fucking crocodile. Fuck the tower. Or alligator. alligator. Okay. The other one I forgot, uh, too, was Sean Green for the Blue Jays. Hmm. Four home runs, 19 total bases in one game. Yeah. He had a ridiculous amount of RBIs that game, I think, too. uh, No, he only had like seven, but he had 19 total bases. I got you. 
Can I take back one of my picks? Nope. Because there's one I really wanted to add in there. Nah. Airbud. If it's Airbud. You really fucked me up with not taking Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> number one. Um, <laughs> I thought that was the consensus consensus number one overall. Nah, I think mm. flu game was better. No, it was. You probably could have got the flu game. Hundred points, Scotty. A hundred points. Whenever he's the only guy out on the floor above six foot five, Jeremy. He was that guy all the other times too, and he only scored a hundred one time. I'm just saying. What are you going to blame Hitler for that one too? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> no. Uh, I want Tuffy Rhodes three home runs opening day of Zerky year. Cubs, yeah. Uh, then he never hit another home run. I don't think. Uh, Derek Thomas got seven sacks in one game. Uh, re- let's see. Which Reggie Miller one did you take? The choke one. Yeah. Against the Knicks. They okay. Come back against the Knicks. Wh- which one was that? I mean, there was a game five in 94 and then game one against the Knicks. He said game five. You went with game five? I don't think that was a choke one. Mm-hmm. I think that was uh, game one against the Knicks in 95 uh, with the final so. 16 seconds where he. The picture of that one was him giving the choke sign. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Let's see. David Robinson again got a, a, yeah, quadru- he had a bunch. quadruple double. Uh, Jim Brown, uh, 273 yards of four touchdowns. Tim Joe, Duncan. Joe Namath, four, six, 496 and six touchdown passes. Jerry Rice, 14 catches for 289 and three touchdowns. Roger Clemens, 20 strikeouts. Y.A. Um, Tittle, seven touchdowns, I think. Simone Biles, uh, all around gold our, medalist. Our fans have spoken. They don't like Y.A. Tittle. I picked that once and. <laughs> I'm dead serious about Simone Biles, though. All, yeah. all around gold medalist. All around. Mm-hmm. One performance. It's one performance. Okay. She was a single best gymnast in uh, the Olympics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. Olympics. Sure. I'm just making sure. Scotty likes little girls. <laughs> no. That's, well, that's what I take moving on. <laughs> you finally hit puberty. <laughs> Uh, no, they're giving shots to keep that from happening. You got, you got <laughs> any more, you horse pussy? I'm drippy crack. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, guys. Pops drippy crap. That is our <laughs> drippy draft. Crack that is our draft. This week, you can uh, check out the poll on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Uh, best or our favorite individual por- performances of all time. Uh, do us a favor, go on Facebook, give us your vote. We'll see who wins because nobody really cares. And moving on, we get to get on to my favorite uh, part of every single episode. This is my favorite segment. This is what we like to call the shitty situation of the week. With horse pussy and drippy crack. No. Okay, so here's the backstory of what we were kind of thinking. We wanted to obviously get on the trend of the Pocky Chip, and so um, we didn't know who was going to take what, like, other than Derek. Derek doesn't do hot shit because he's a puss, but me and Jeremy were going back and forth. It's like, do you want to do the Pocky Chip or do you want to do the Gummy Bear? And I was just like, well, I know the Pocky Chip is hot, and I've never heard of this little nitro, so... I was actually thinking that the Pocky Chip was actually a lot hotter. And I was I didn't want to hurt Jeremy because he was old. Um, <laughs> but but it all came down to we just kind of picked which one, and, and that was that. But when the cameras went off after the episode was over, I cannot tell you guys how much fucking pain both me and Jeremy were in. It was ridiculous. We were laid out on our backs, like on our on my floor just trying to survive this. And my wife at the time, or my wife was like, I I was saying at the time, like we're not together anymore. Um, But my wife was like trying to do anything that we could, that she could do to try to help us get out of it. And it turned out like Pepto-Bismol, like an anti-acid because it feels like it's, it's eating through your fucking stomach. It was absolutely ridiculous. And so Jeremy, this fucking old man is laying on his back on my floor just just in agonizing pain but once we got the tums or whatever the hell my wife was able to, to supply um it, it felt 10 times better i was literally on the toilet trying to shit when i couldn't shit like it was it was that bad so um but yeah that's the behind the scenes footage there's going to be a picture somewhere in here of uh, of us laying on the floor so hope you enjoy that um 
but it was. This is one of my favorite episodes of all time. And it basically just shows how much of a puss Derek really is. Because he is. He's a huge puss. Um, because he, is, he will never, ever eat anything that causes pain or is hot. Because, you know. That's that's him. Uh, but I hope you guys really enjoy our reaction to the Pocky Chip and the Little Nitro. Uh, thank you guys for being so great fans. We, we really do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Keep on laughing, you assholes, and we will see you next week. I'll do another one of these of a great episode from our past and uh, keep you uh, tuned in of how we're doing on our vacation. So thank you guys so much. Love you all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Derek. Hmm. What's our shitty situation? Well, last week you gave us a shitty situation of would you rather eat something really, really, really hot? No, no. No, I was very specific in what I... The one chip? The one chip challenge. Or would you rather eat something very, very disgusting? Mm Mm-hmm. Um... And this week, uh, we, we made our choices last week, and it looks like this week we're following through. It's going to fucking suck. So Scotty has the uh, Pocky One Chip Challenge. Yeah. I have the Bean Boozled uh, Jelly Beans with uh, Stinky Sock, Barf, uh, Dishwater, Dead Fish, Boogers, which I ate a lot as a kid, so I should probably be <laughs> all right with that one. Yeah. Rotten Egg, which will be really gross. That's going to be like eat my own farts. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you. If... That's going to be weird if you bite right into one and go, oh, yeah, it's boogers. <laughs> if you just recognize it right away. Boogers. Yeah. Uh, Roll it around in between my two fingers and <laughs> pop it back in. Uh, and then Jeremy looks like he's got the uh, Little Nitro, world's hottest gummy bear. Yeah. I, this wasn't a choice last week, but apparently they only had one of the uh, One Chip Challenge chips. So uh, Derek picked this thing. Now, this is not fucking around. I want to I wanna be very <laughs> clear on this. Um, I'm going to open my gross thing here. All right. Yeah. What this says right here, this product is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. <laughs> just, um, just like Jeremy's cock. <laughs> it's intended for adults only, which means I get to fuck it. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, should be kept out of reach of children and or pets. I was going to give it to Scotty's dog. <laughs> Thank God. And I still might. Okay. Um, mostly because I hate dogs. Uh, uh, let's see. No, I love dogs. Um, how many does Derek have to eat of these? Is there a limit or are you just handfulling them? I'm not handfulling them. Okay. Eating one I, at a time? I think three. I think I should eat three. Three, three sounds about right. I think five. I'm going to go three. I think three is fair here. If he gets three easy ones, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> and I'll spin it. Yeah, what if they're I'll just do the fucking spinner thing? L- luckiest, grape and orange and cherry. Yeah, luckiest piece of shit in the <laughs> well, world. I don't like jelly beans, though, so I don't think I can win. Well, then your life is fucked, isn't uh, it? Are we doing um, this all at the same now, time or separately? Now, I, I want to I point out, I brought this up here on oh. uh, earlier. Uh, this is nine million on the Scoville scale, okay. which I brought up about uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. hot nature of peppers. Uh-huh. Um, nine million on the Scoville scale. For a quick reference, Tabasco sauce registers at 3,000. <laughs> God damn so, it. So this is not just some pussy cop out here when we're talking about this gummy bear thing. Oh, my God. So I'm going to open this up. And then Are we doing this all at the same time? No, I think we got to go one by one. Okay. All right, Jeremy. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. What the fuck? Because <laughs> you're the first one to open. Well done, fearless leader. Uh, no, I'm not open. I'm just in the plastic casing like all your dildas come in. I think... <laughs> <laughs> your dildas. Your dildas. I think out of all of us... That's what Pop says. Uh-huh. I think I think out of all of us, you're going to survive the longest because I think when I eat this fucking thing... Because I'm a thing, fucking survivor, Scotty. I'm going to die. Like I, I'm going to be out for at least 10 to 15 I minutes. am a survivor, though. I got or fucking hours. eye of the tiger. Then we finally get our own show. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm going to die. We get mad on board. Oh, oh Jesus. Mm. This is going to suck. Okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and go, Jeremy? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Oh. I do not... There we go. I have a feeling that this is going to catch me by surprise. <laughs> Probably. It, it looks like cherry. Can I smell it? And Let me smell it. Please. I can't smell it from where I'm at, and I'm trying to refrain. It's not bad. I'm going to guess that the juices will flow <laughs> once I bite into it. Uh. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> number one, how long was that sitting on a fucking shelf? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it was made of fucking concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's not that bad, guys. <laughs> oh fuck! I should have taken the goddamn gummy bear. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna get to me later. It's, oh no, it's coming up. It's it's uh, it's sneaking up on me. Right. Uh, I gotta do three of these, right? Five. We said three. I don't care. I'm At, doing three until you get a nasty one. Uh, that's on the line. Oh, that? God, I don't know. Birthday cake or dirty dishwasher? I'm gonna be honest. This isn't getting better, guys. <laughs> it is getting better. It's not. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh, please be good. <laughs> Oh, no, I was just watching. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Yeah, you got to uh, you gotta, you gotta finish it. God right. damn it, this Bro. is going to suck. That's, no, that, my body is trying everything to reject this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes exactly like this water. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. oh, God, let me close the palate. <laughs> oh, I'm just prolonging the inevitable right now. This sucks so bad. Oh, that was fucking terrible. That tastes exactly like that. Oh, that they're they're amazing at doing that, by the way. Making shit taste exactly like Juicy it's Juicy pear to. or boogers. I've eaten a lot of both of these <laughs> throughout my life. Oh, this is gonna suck. We're gonna go here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at you, Jeremy. Yeah, this is gonna come around tenfold. <laughs> well, <that's> booger. <laughs> No, that tastes anywhere. <laughs> My oh. side is hurting. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That booger's going to come right out of my nose. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, oh, just sit in the back of my throat. All right. Oh, last one. Yeah, you better give me one of those. These are not hand it's wipes, the by the way. They are just, what? <laughs> Disinfectant wipes. Um... What's that one? That's that's again. I'll skip that one because I already did that one. Okay, yeah. We need to get you a puke one. That's dishwasher again. Uh, get a puke one. I want a puke one. That's that one. Coconut or spoiled milk? Oh, please, God, be fucking coconut. <laughs> no, be spoiled milk. Oh, be spoiled milk. I'd God. honestly rather have spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> please be coconut. <laughs> oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> At least you got all three bad ones. Oh. Uh, now this is going to suck. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Take these over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Well, good. Oh, this is oh. going to suck. Oh, shit. Okay, oh, all in the, teeth. the I, I've been told that this is uh, bad decisions by multiple people that have actually done this. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's been happy to do that. No. Oh, no. How the fuck did I get bad ones all three times? Oh, no, this is going to be Oh, awful. my. Does that oh. say what, it, ra- oh. what oh. it ranks on the Scoville scale? I have no idea, but it came out in pieces. Oh, boy. I'm not doing more than one of these goddamn things. you got to do it. It's the I'll one do, chip I'll, challenge. I'll do the big one. It's the one chip challenge. I'm not going to shove three of these fucking things in my mouth. Sure you can. Shove them in. Pretend they're horse pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, got them. God. You're a fucking this is champ. This suck. All right. I, if I can't sign off, it's because of Derek. I'll take over. We'll call you Matt. Get that one. It's coming in. It. Mm-hmm. It's like an explosion in your mouth <laughs> of nothing good. That's, that smells good. You got one to go. Uh-uh, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> uh, finish that one. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Uh-uh. You didn't even do it. Uh, Prove to the world your manlyhood. You got this. I'm Wash here. your hands off, please. Uh, uh, I don't want to see you lose an eye, which could actually happen for oh, yeah. thing. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I see a guy with a missing eye, and I just want to fuck it. So, <laughs> oh, oh. boy, oh, no. oh, we no. had something planned for, <laughs> towards the end of the show. Oh no! Oh, oh boy! Oh, that's awful. The best thing I can say about this gummy bear it is 
It is not coconut. <laughs> that, <clears throat> oh. Uh, I'm actually keeping it down. I'm unimpressed with myself. <laughs> uh, uh. I would be impressed with you, but I'm too busy fighting my own fucking pains over here. We only, only ate two thirds of the chip. That was enough. Oh, that was enough. Not by standard rules. Oh, <laughs> that's the two thirds chip think, challenge. Which I think means he's got to eat three gum, uh, jelly beans, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you want to chase it down with some jelly I'll, beans? I'll do that next uh, next episode, guys. Uh huh. Thank you for watching the Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> podcast. Uh-huh. Are you signing off already? Oh, yeah. We you and Jeremy want... had something we want to talk about. Uh, yeah, you want, you want me to take it home? Yeah, go. go you guys go ahead. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, we all sure do enjoy the shitty situation. We also enjoy uh, a little bit of horse pussy and uh, drippy crack. Oh, yeah. But there's a product out there that we'd like to talk about that we think your kids are going to love, and that's Legos Building Blocks. <laughs> they are absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. If you ever want to really just unlock your kids just creative abilities do it for your children Derek what have you done with Legos you know I built a full scale model of Auschwitz oh. really yeah working model that of Auschwitz you Beautiful. Yes, it actually absolutely beautiful. It I, melted my Lego juice. All right, I, it did it. Oh god, God, and you know I didn't actually make go that intricate. I just made a lot of swastikas with it. Now, <laughs> if Legos would like us to stop talking about them, they're going to have to pay us money. Otherwise, we're going to talk about Legos every episode. Legos. <laughs> Unlock your child's potential. <laughs> Brought to you by Horse Pussy and Drippy Crack. <laughs> <sighs> this is the worst Guys. decision I've ever made. <laughs> Other than to do this podcast. No, I love doing um, the show. <laughs> I what you do doing now, it. now that you know what real pain is. <laughs> now you know how we feel sitting next to you every week. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I get a free pass next week, right? Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> you got to finish that chip. Uh, yeah. uh, Kiss my ass. <laughs> Listen. Kiss my ass. Uh, this, this gummy bear is the worst decision I ever made, uh, but I'm not a complete puss. Uh, I, I kept uh, it down. I actually kept it down. Well, not yet. You still got another third to go. Kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> uh, Every time I go to swallow, it's like reliving it all over again. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It makes me long for Auschwitz. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, man. Maybe well, spoiled milk wasn't so bad. Oh, it wasn't. I'm going to put this in your fucking Cheeto bag or whatever. A uh, Cheeto bag? I don't have a Cheeto chips bag. Chips bag, Dorito uh, bag. I, I don't, don't eat chips, so you're all right. Oh, Lord. Guys, thank you guys you so you much. You don't eat chips. You guys are our advertisers. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. That's how choked up he is about it. Oh, <laughs> God. It's really emotional. Follow us. he talks about it. Follow us on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. YouTube.com slash laughing on the sidelines. And TikTok at Laughing on the Sidelines. I think it's Laughing OT Sidelines. I can't even fucking think right now. (laughs) Don't ever do this fucking challenge. Look it up on (sighs) Pornhub or X Hamster (laughs) (laughs) for just entertainment's sake. If you have a problem, you can look up anything, including fisting and she mails. Yeah. (laughs) If you you have a problem finding us (gasps) laughing on the sidelines, just Google that shit. You'll find everywhere we are. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, back to the- <laughs> and as always, do us a favor and leave us a five star rating on any podcast platform you are listening to us on. And uh, that's like, oh. oh my god! Oh man, this it's is like <laughs> it's like it, Winnie the Pooh got possessed by the <laughs> devil. <laughs> oh, I'd, oh, oh this shit. Is great. guys! As always, you are uh, our advertisers. Oh, Keep on doing what you're doing, and if you like us, tell your friends and ten, tell your family. But if you don't like us... We hope you someone wraps your dick in barbed wire and your mom sucks it off. Oh, dear God. Uh, what's I, the I next can't even slide? it. <laughs> uh, if you don't, if like, you don't us, like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Make it a blockbuster night. Oh, God, until next time... <laughs> Keep laughing, at We will see you next week. Take care. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh.